What's up everybody, JC here and this is The Bridge TV. First and foremost, if you're watching this video, it's because Randy selected me to be featured on Seeker Sunday on his page. So I want to give a huge shout out to Randy. I really do appreciate you. I'm going to show you guys my entire sneaker collection. A little background about me. Uh, my name is JC. I'm from Fresno, California. Uh, I'm currently living in Fort Collins, Colorado. I play quarterback at Colorado State University. Been here for three years, so I'm a redshirt sophomore. Um, I've been collecting sneakers since about the start of the year, so January 2017. Um, so eight and a half, nine months. And I've accumulated about 100 pairs. Not everything's gonna be super, super hype, um, but for eight months, I think I've done a pretty good job um, being able to grow my collection. So let's get into the video. I do not wanna take up too much of your guys' time, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail on each of the shoes. I'm just gonna be a kind of a fast blam blam, um, getting the shoes out there so you guys can see them. First off, we got the Yeezy 350 V2 in the cream white, the only Yeezy I've ever been able to get for retail. Second up we got the Yeezy 350 V2 in the bread colorway. I did recently pick these up off of GOAT and like I said all of these shoes have their individual reviews, unboxing, stuff like that. So if you do enjoy this video, if you do enjoy my content, click the link down below to my channel. Go check me out. But yeah, Yeezy 350 V2 bread colorway. It can be argued that this is my favorite pair in my collection. No hype surrounding it or anything. That's how you know I'm not really a hype beast. Um, but where we have the James Harden Volume 1 Sweet Life. This all prominent upper and the color. I really love the color with the gold hints. Just a super, super dope shoe to me. Next up, we got the Adidas Yeezy Calabasas. We got the white reflective Ultra Boost Uncaged. My favorite Ultra Boost out of all of them probably. We got this Ultra Boost 3.0 in the Night Cargo colorway. We got the Core Black Ultra Boost 2.0. Glitch Pack NMD, Teal Safari NMD, a very, very common shoe, but not a very common colorway. Black Gum Prime Net NMD, probably the most hype beast sneaker in my entire collection. I picked these up off of GOAT, dead stock, and they are still in dead stock condition, but my favorite pair in my entire collection, we got the Black Pharrell NMD. Um, this is the human species one. I just love the all black upper with the yellow laces. A very, very dope shoe. Linen Prime NMD, still in dead stock condition. Got an Adidas NMD City Sock 2 uh, Naked and Kith collab that they did with Adidas in the tan colorway. Duck Camo XR1. There was a point where all I could do was afford Vans and all I wore was Vans. Now, this is the only Van in my collection. We have the Authentic Gold Coast, um, this checkerboard Van. Right here, we got the Triple Black Vapor Max. One of my favorite shoes out right now. A lot of you guys. Um, do not like them, do not like the look or the comfortability, whatever the case may be. But to me, a close, close rival to the Ultra Boost. This next shoe is my only EQT uh, 9317, whatever you call it. Um, and I wish it was a different colorway because this is probably my least favorite colorway. But I picked it up because it was under retail. We have the pink glitch. We got the multicolor 2.0 Flyknit Racer. 100% my favorite basketball shoes and I have about five pairs of these. Um, right here we have the Christmas LeBron 10. Floridian LeBron 10. Cutting Jade LeBron 10. University Red LeBron 10 Low. Now into the Jordans, we have the Jordan 11 Low Clothing Ceremony. Jordan 11 Low Bread. The regular mid Jordan 11 Bread. So right here is the shoe that kind of started all, it all for me in the sneaker game. I remember I was about a junior in high school, I think, and I saw a couple kids in my school got, got these on release day, um, and I thought they were the coolest things ever. This all black colorway, Gamma Blue Jordan 11. Probably my favorite pair of Jordans and up there with my favorite pair of shoes. Um, just a super, super cool shoe. I love the all black with the hints of this um, Gamma Blue, I guess you could call it. Uh, so Jordan 11 Gamma Blue. We have another Jordan 11. This 2009 Space Jam Jordan 11 uh, dead stock condition. Jordan 11 7210. And right here we have probably the most expensive Jordan in my collection, the Jordan 11 Concord. My only pair of OVOs, but in my opinion, probably my favorite. We have the Jordan 10 OVO. Um, and it's the black pair. True Blue Threes, have not worn these. I kind of fell into the hype of the release on these. Cyber Monday Threes, I got these on sale for like 100 bucks. I wear the crap out of these. Probably my most worn shoe, most worn Jordan. This was one of the shoes I sought after the most and after I got it, it was kind of one of those shoes that was like, eh, it's kind of hard to wear. Um, right here we have the Jordan 5 Low, Neymar. The entire upper of the shoes, all 3M um, with these orange hints. Like I said, when I was first starting out collecting shoes, and I saw this on an upcoming release. I thought I had to have it. I got it and I just have not worn it. It creases super easily. Um, it's just hard to wear, but kept it in my collection just in case sometime in the future I feel like busting it out. 
My first ever Jordan purchase, this Oreo 4. We have the Kyrie 2 Battle Gray, my only Kyrie in my collection. Triple Red A6 Gel Light 5, another Black and Red A6 Gel Light 5, Marble A6 Gel Light 3, A6 Gel Light 1. We have the Cargo Khaki Nike Sock Dart. One of the first purchases of shoes that I bought in college right here, we have the Air Max 90. And if you cannot tell, these are beat to the ground. That's supposed to be a pretty, pretty clean white, and it kind of almost looks brown or gray. Um, so Air Max 90. We got the Kobe 11 Mama Curio. If you cannot tell, these are super, super muddy. I wore these out to a party or something like that. Have not got the chance to clean them. Um, but a pretty, pretty cool shoe with a very, very loud colorway. Mama Curio, Kobe 11. Mint New Balance 580. Right here, we just have a tan Alpha Bounce. Um, a very, very good shoe for your money, especially if you can find these on sale for like 60, 70 bucks. These next five shoes were the only shoes I brought from high school to college. Um, so they were the only shoes I had starting off. I used to wear the crap out of all these. I thought they were the coolest things ever. We have uh, Air Max Janoski, Air Max Janoski. We have this leather Air Max Janoski, navy blue Air Max Janoski. This next pair is one of the most hyped sneakers in my collection. It is, just kidding, it's another Air Max Janoski. Now I think this shoe's pretty cool. Another one of my early pickups. It's not a shoe that a lot of people have. That's why I kind of like it and not a lot of people know what it is. Right here we have the Air Jordan 1 Low Swooshless. Um, super, super good quality leather. I love this pink colorway. I love the gold lace tips. A lot of people think it's a designer sneaker um, and they are wrong when I tell them that it's an Air Jordan 1. A lot of people go crazy. Um, so one of the, my most favorite pairs of my collection. I do have like a separate collection of about 20 sneakers um, that I get in my Soul Supremacy beater boxes, but I'm not gonna show you all of them. One that I do, that I will show you that's notable is this size 10 and a half Bread V2. So I do have two pairs of Reds obviously way too small for me um, so I'm letting this go and last but not least like I said I do live in Colorado so it does get pretty cold pretty snowy pretty mushy um, no other way to keep your feet dry than the Timberland six inch boots anyways guys that's about everything in my collection minus a couple of little things um, I do have some workout shoes I do have dress shoes stuff like that but the basis of my collection that I wear or that I show off was what I just showed you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Once again, thank you to Randy for letting me um, have the opportunity to, to feature my channel on your channel. I really do appreciate you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, if you guys do enjoy my content, click the link down below to my channel. Go check me out. I appreciate it a lot. Um, and thank you guys again.